Everybody needs an adventure every now and then, so we're here, in Northern Ontario. This is Mount Chemenis, also known as Mont Chaudron, or Sugarloaf Mountain. A region spanning over 800,000 square kilometers, a land of rugged beauty and natural wonders, with its pristine lakes, vast forests, and abundant wildlife. It's a place of untamed wilderness that has captured the imagination of adventurers and nature enthusiasts for generations. formations here are unique and challenging. Climbing in northern Ontario is like nowhere else in the world. The scenery is breathtaking and the sense of accomplishment when you reach the top of a climb is unparalleled. But the beauty of northern Ontario extends far beyond its lakes and rivers. Its forests are home to some of the most spectacular landscapes in Canada. To understand why we took this trip, you have to look at the history of the region and the events that forged it. The region of Ontario, Canada has a long and rich history that spans thousands of years. The earliest known inhabitants of the area were indigenous people. In the 16th century, French explorers began to visit the region, establishing the first European settlement in Quebec City in 1608. The French fur trade soon reached Ontario, and by the mid-17th century, the French had established several trading posts in the area. We began our trip in Barrie, Ontario, and passed through North Bay, while making our way north to a city hosting one of the deepest mines in the world, Kirkland, Ontario.
Northern Ontario is a land of contrasts and surprises. It's a place where modern cities coexist with ancient forests, and where the rhythm of nature sets the pace of life. It's a land that has inspired generations of artists, writers, and adventurers, and it will continue to do so for generations to come.